or when I stand alone in the Holy Spirit. And, and so Romans chapter 4 is a wonderful passage of scripture. Uh, Romans 4, I'm going to read, so I'll read it in verse number 17. Uh, verse number 17, the Bible says, as it is written, I have made your father of many nations All right. in the presence of him for whom he believed. Right. God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not uh, exist as though they did. The King James says, as though they were, uh -huh. as though they're not, as though they were. Mm -hmm. Who are uh, contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations. According to what was spoken, uh, so shall your descendants be. Mm -hmm. And being, weak, being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong and strengthened in faith giving glory to God and being fully convinced your Bible may say it's being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Yes, sir. This morning, I want to talk from the subject. I want to try to help somebody. Uh, I want to talk from the subject, you've got this. You've got this. I want to this morning speak to somebody that's been going through. Uh, speak to somebody that's been waiting on God. Try to speak to somebody that, 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 that you've been dealing with some issues and you've been dealing with some issues for a little while. And, uh, and, and while you've been dealing, you've been waiting. Yeah. And it seems like it just keeps getting worse while you wait. Yes, sir. And so I just want to give you a little encouragement, try to give you a little courage to know that you've got this. Yeah. It may not look like you got it now, but you need to understand you got this. Romans chapter 4, I'm going to give you just a, just a little, little, little background. Romans chapter 4, uh, matter of fact, let's just kind of walk just a little bit. Romans chapter 1, y'all know that this is Romans, this is, is a dialogue. Yeah. I've said this before, it's a dialogue. It's a dialogue between, the, as Paul is writing. Paul is really, really writing an argument. Uh, he said the case, he goes in chapter 1, he, he writes to the, to the Gentiles. All right, because and he says y'all are without excuse because uh, uh, you ought to know God uh -huh. because of just by what you see you ought to know yeah. God yeah. and because they still wouldn't believe he said gave them over to a reprobate mind. Uh -huh. All right, then he came to chapter two and chapter two he dealt with the Jews uh -huh. and said you had the prophets and you uh -huh. had the law you had all the scriptures. Uh -huh. All right, but again still you still are without excuse because you still don't want to obey. Uh -huh. And you are still in sin, and you are still in need of a Savior. Yeah. Chapter 3, he comes and says, uh, Well, we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah. Says, Not only do a Jew need a Savior, but also a Gentile need a Savior. Yeah. Uh, everybody, every mankind yeah. need a Savior. Yeah. And then, then in the latter part of chapter 3, he starts talking about this grace thing. Yeah. So I'm talking about this faith and grace, and yeah. grace thing. Yeah. And then, so, uh, he thinks of it, he says, okay, I know what y'all thinking, all right? So, he, uh, when he comes to Romans chapter 4, uh, he says, okay, let me just kind of clear the air here, because uh, y'all are starting to think about our father, our, our father Abraham. Uh -huh. You start talking about, well, what about our father Abraham? Uh, uh, what about what our father Abraham done, the works that our father Abraham done? They were really talking about the circumcision, what they were talking about, all right, because our father Abraham was circumcised, and in their minds, they thought circumcision was a gateway to the law. They thought that circumcision was a thing that God that was what made Abraham righteous, all right, but they were so misunderstood, and did that they always do as Jews, they add to the scripture to try to make it fit them and make them, make them think that they're better than some. Else. Yeah, all right, but 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 I'm not gonna get 
you stop that because sometimes in the church we do that. We think that we're better than somebody else because we've been in the church longer than somebody else. Because my mama was in the church, because my daddy was in the church, because my grandma was in the church. I ought to have, I ought to have a little bit of, uh, I ought to have a little bit of, uh, uh, of uh, entitlement in the church because I've been here longer than you. You only been here a few days, uh, only been here a few weeks, and you only been here a few, a few hours, uh, and you only obeyed the gospel just uh, a year ago. Uh, how the world do you think you ought to have what I have? Well, uh, but what you got to understand, we all all on the same page uh, uh, because we all came the same way. All right, all right. So, so, uh, so the Jews had this mindset. And they thought that they were special because uh, there was an Abraham seed. Uh, and then because Abraham, because Abraham uh, was circumcised, uh, and because uh, every Jew on the eighth day of it, every Jewish male uh, on the eighth day must be circumcised, uh, they thought they were something special. Uh, and it was better than the Gentiles uh, because the Gentiles were not circumcised. Uh, and so they thought they were better. And so, and so they had this mindset. Paul, what you talking about? This faith is justification by faith. Uh, yeah. But you talk about this justification of uh, uh, by grace. Uh, uh, all right, so and so Paul said, as a well, what does the scripture say? I'm about, I'm about chapter one, about verse number three. I think I am over there. Are uh, you ready? Yeah, but we have to time to read because I'm from the Bible class. Uh, I'm gonna get this, all right? And so he said, so he said, he said, uh, he said, what does the scriptures say? Uh, yeah. And then he runs them back to Genesis chapter 15 uh, about verse number six. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And get them to understand uh, that it was not the circumcision uh, that, 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 that made uh, uh, that counted made them uh, uh, Abraham counted righteous. Uh, but it was not the circumcision, uh, but it was because uh, Abraham believed in God. They had faith in God. He believed in God. And because he believed in God, then therefore he was counted righteous. Therefore God put a credit on his books. That's what that right and righteous that accounted means. God put a credit there. God, God counted him as righteous even though he wasn't righteous. And because you believed in me, I'm going to count you righteous. Because you believed in me, I'm going to put some money on your books. Y'all know what I'm talking about? in the 
them. What is it that made God uh, say, I'm going to count you righteous because you believe that uh, we're turning to you, if you don't mind, uh, go to Genesis chapter 15 uh, and start reading about verse number, verse number 5. I think this is what I want uh, about verse number 5 uh, so we can know what, what he's talking about uh, in Genesis chapter 7, I mean Romans chapter 4 uh, and verse number 17. Uh, all right, Genesis chapter 15. But our verse number five, what the Bible says, come on and read. He brought him forth the broad. And he brought him forth the broad. All right, hold on, let me help you just a little bit. Prior to that, uh, Abraham had told the Lord, the Lord, I have no sons. Uh, all right, what about I have no sons? I have no heirs. Uh, all right, and then God, just like God is, uh, God said, God, God, God said, son, come on now, listen, come on that side, if you don't mind, just for a minute. Uh, all right, let me take you on a walk with me just for a minute. Uh, right. He says, come on.
us uh, beyond your current circumstance. Yeah. See, see, you gotta understand right. what faith does is uh, right. faith looks beyond what you see. Right. That's why Paul said to walk by faith and, and not by yeah. sight. Yeah. Right? You gotta you, you can't you can't focus on uh, what your current situation is. Yeah. Alright, go back and read that verse uh, a little bit uh, earlier. What about the corner read? And being that we can faith. Now go back just a little bit. That's what I see. Look, 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 look. Against our hope. Some hope. Our hope. See, against our hope. Come on here. Believe in hope. He believed. See, see, he believed in something that didn't make sense. Right, right, right. I, he believed in something that, 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 that you, you really can't put your right mind around. Yeah, yeah. Come on, y'all. He, he, he believed in all the odds was against him. Yeah, yeah. See, let's see what he's talking about. Against hope, he believed in hope. Yeah. Well, what's against hope? Against hope is our hope. Y'all look at me like I'm strange. Yeah. Yeah. Against hope, my life is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, against hope, I ain't got no kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, against hope, all the circumstances uh, say that it's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all the circumstances say you ain't gonna get that job. Oh, yeah. Try to help
be like I'm saying. We have a God came to Abraham and came to Sarah and told Sarah, you're going to have a uh, sinner, 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 uh, to tell her, you're going to have a uh, child. Sarah laughed. Uh, and the man said, uh, the servant said, why are you laughing? She said, I'm not laughing. She said, yes, you laughed, but then you said, yes, yes, yes. But Abraham believed in God. Yeah. Then I consider the deadness of Sarah's womb. All right? Oh, uh, was 
86, I believe it was. 86 when uh, he got Ishmael. Uh, yeah. Alright, come on. Y'all gotta stay with me now. He was 86 when uh, the handmaid, the Hagar, gave him uh, Ishmael. Uh, Alright, now he was and then he was that means he was younger than 86 when God made the promise. Yeah. Now we're gonna Alright, but now watch this now. Sarah don't give birth to, to Isaac uh, until he's about like hundred years old. Yeah.
sometimes. But sometimes go back and look back over your own life and see where you were and where you are now. Yeah. All right? And you'll find out that you serve a God that's more than able. Right. You look back over your life and say, right. I should have been dead and gone. Right. But somehow, someway, I'm still here. Right. And you say, God is more than able. Right? You look back over your life and say, you should have you should have you should have been a crack child. Uh, but somehow God made me a good child. Uh, right. I somehow God made me better than I should be. Uh, that's why I know God is able. You look back over your life uh, and you start saying, I, I can remember when uh, I didn't have uh, two pennies to rub together, uh, but somehow, some way, uh, the lights never got turned off. Uh, somehow, some way, uh, I still fed 12 kids on uh, a minimum wage salary. Uh, somehow, some way, uh, I serve a God uh, that is able. Uh, I look back over my life uh, and tears start rolling down my face. Uh, about the goodness of God 
talk out of I had a beautiful lesson. Breathe, y'all. Woo, it was bad. Oh, it was bad. It was a bad time. I was going to throw up in there. Shh. Yeah. But you better not be in the sandwich. <laughs> Yeah. 